people forgot about that. A lot of people, my brother. That's why we out here. Right. God killing behind. God ain't playing behind his Bible, man. Right. He ain't playing behind his word. Think about it. I'm gonna show you something. When you tell your child something and he don't do it, you feel disrespected, right? Right. So when the Lord tell the children of Israel right. to do something, he got to turn the fire up. Right. You see what I'm saying? Because everybody despising the laws. Right. God not playing. He ain't compromising. That's he ain't right. asking nobody nothing. He right. told you to do it. Right. He told you to do it. Our people don't understand uh, order. That's well, most high Christ bless. Ha! Order. Order. Nation in order. My house in order. Who the prophets on the corner? What's that about? They say the Bible just for me. I gotta check it out. You scoffers ain't ready for me. I'm finna bring it out. My house is in order. My people, I can teach them now. Who the prophets on the corner? What's that about? They say the Bible just for me. I gotta check it out. You scoffers ain't ready for me. I'm finna bring it out. My house is in order. My people, I can teach them now. He leading captivity. Shall go in captivity. Second Ezra 7 and 20. You know? Second Ezra chapter 7, verse 20. For there be many that perish in this life because they despise the law of God. So the scripture says it's many. If you look around right now, it's many people breaking the Sabbath. It's many people despising the laws of God. To get into the kingdom of heaven, you got to keep the commandments. That's what the uh, uh, soldier just went over, right? So watch this again. I'm going to show you how important it is for your life, for your life, to keep the commandments. That's right. How long you? How old you is? 41. 41. These people got shot down dead that was 20. These people got shot down dead that was 18. It's a blessing that you can stand here right now and hear the word of God. That's right. So understanding that right now, you need to pay attention to what this Bible is saying. Right. Second Ezra chapter seven, chapter seven, verse twenty. For there be many that perish in this life because they despise the law of God that is set before them. The Bible, the laws were set before you. This is an instruction manual to keep you alive. Go to uh, Proverbs seven and two. This is what's gonna keep you alive. The laws of God. If you ain't keeping these laws, you're walking around dead. Right. If you ain't keeping the laws, you look at another brother like he a nigga not knowing that's your brother. Right. You see what I'm saying? You walking around not knowing that you're supposed to have fridges on. Right. Because why? We was broke from our place over here. And guess what? When we got over here, they told us Christmas. Right. They told us Thanksgiving. Right. They told us hatred. But guess what? The laws of God is going to get you in the kingdom. Right. Right. We're giving you jewels and keys to get to the kingdom. Right. Pay attention. Read. Proverbs chapter 7 verse 2. Keep my commandments and live. No, keep your commandments and die. Keep my commandments and live. Go back to second answer. The scripture says, keep the commandments. Remember you said you didn't know how to get to the kingdom of heaven, right? We finna show you. Officer Soldier just brought it out. Keep the commandments. If you love God, you're gonna keep the commandments. Right. Go through this Bible, it's talking about commandments. Right. One right. thing the black man, Hispanic man, Native American man gotta understand. God ain't asking you nothing. Right. You hear what I said? A pastor asking, hey man, uh, y'all put this money around here, we gotta get the, God ain't asking, man. He ain't asking, he commanding, hey, you need to do this right. or else. Right. Read. Second Ezra chapter seven, verse 20. For there be many that perish in this life uh -huh. because they despise the law of God that is set before them. Read. Verse 21. But God have given straight commandments. God gave straight commandments. Thou shalt not. Ain't nowhere in there he asking something. He telling you don't do it. Right. I'm, I'm going to show you something. Watch this. Hold that. Go to uh, first, uh, uh, James 4 and 17. Watch this. I'm going to show you something. It's simple. God gave straight commandments, right? Don't kill. Don't steal. Love your brother, right? So uh, being the player, this is our part. Being the player, we know that's wrong, right? 
You know that's wrong. Morally, you know that's wrong, right? Watch what the Bible says. James chapter 4, verse 17. Therefore, to him that knoweth to do good. So you know messing with another man and woman is wrong. Yep. You know that, right? Watch this. And doeth it not. To him it is sin. That's a sin. You know what sin is? Yep. Okay, let's get sin. You see what I'm saying? Just, just on that level right there. Messing with another man and woman is a sin. That's adultery. That's right. fornication. That ain't that woman ain't belong to you. God ain't playing that girlfriend, boyfriend, stop playing park stuff. That's you see right. what I'm saying? Just on that on that small level, it's a sin. It's transgression. Right. You know, you know, but I didn't hear the scripture that's wrong. Right. Yeah. You know that? You know stealing is wrong without hearing the scripture. You know that. You didn't see people get shot for stealing. And what he do? Oh man, Johnny stole two bubble gum. Now you know it. Johnny was tripping. And the scriptures say Johnny was tripping. So the laws of God is to help you to live. Right. To get the kingdom. But if you ain't, if you doing what you want to do, you're gonna be in trouble. Look at these people around here. They think they finna have a good day on a Saturday doing what they want to do. This is the Lord day! Right. Right. This day don't even belong. This day belongs to the Lord and you worshiping the Lord. That's it. Anything else is off. Right. Anything else is off. Read. First John chapter 3, verse 4. Whosoever committed sin transgressed also the law. You see that? Whosoever committed sin transgressed the law. So you knowing that, just on a small level, right? That's breaking the law. Go back to second lesson. That's what we're trying to get you to understand. All these brothers out here, we didn't did that situation before. But guess what? We heard the scriptures, we heard the Bible, we say what? We gotta get it fixed. So guess what? Every man up here goal is to get to the kingdom. Right. right. You know? We ain't telling you nothing that we ain't gonna do. Right. Yeah. If I'm telling you to have friends on, I better have them on. That's right. If I'm telling you to have a beard, I better have a beard. You see what I'm saying? If I'm telling you don't steal and don't commit adultery, I better not be doing that. That's called love. Yeah. Our people don't understand that. When you warn somebody, you're really looking out for them. Hey man, I'm looking out for you. You know how we say that, I? Right? But guess what? We looking out for you with the scripture. We're telling you how to live with the scripture. Read. Second Ezra chapter 7, verse 21. Come on. But God have given straight commandment. How you doing, my brother? What's your name? Mike, come on over here, Mike. You want to know what today is? You want to know what today is? All right, watch this, Mike. So God gave straight commandment. That's the scripture he just gave, right? So I'm, I'm going to ask you something. You've been to church before, right? What day do you go to church? On Sunday, which is not the Sabbath, my man. So on the calendar, if you look at it on your phone, what's the first day of the week? There you go. So there you go. So that's that's straight one on the whole church across the world. That's right. Every church across the world is wrong. Right. If they ain't doing it on Saturday. Right. Watch this. Second Ezra is chapter, I mean, Exodus chapter 20, verse 8. Uh-huh. Remember the Sabbath day. That's, a, that's heavy right there. The scripture says, remember the Sabbath day. Let's pause for a minute. Today the Lord day, right? The scripture said, remember. How many people forgot? Everybody. What? Say it on the mic. Everybody. Everybody. And so that's what we are here to show our people. Right. Because this is a commandment. Right. God ain't right. asking us to keep it. He told you to. You see what I'm saying? You, you ain't asking your child to clean up no room. Boy, I told you to go do it. And if you don't do it, what you gonna do? That's what the Lord's saying. It's right. simple. Right. This, the problem is, we doing our own thing. Right. That's right. Watch this. Uh, Exodus chapter 20, verse 8. Remember yeah. the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Our people have forgot the Sabbath day. Watch this. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. Six days shall you work, from Sunday to Saturday, uh, Friday night. That's it. If the Most High God rests on Sabbath, how much we gonna do? Right. And we ain't above him. Right. If he gonna rest, I, he created me. What I'm gonna say, nah, I'm gonna do it on another day. He gonna knock you off. That's the problem, man. We gotta be humble to the Bible, man. Right. Our people is despise God's laws. They despise it, man. It's like a, the scripture says it's not grievous to them. They act like it's a hard thing to love their brother. They act like it's a hard thing to wear a beard. They act like it's a hard thing to put on fringes. That ain't hard. But the, the curses that he put on us, now that jack. Bring it up. up. 
that jacked us up. That's what you call hard. Right. This bondage right here. Right. Because we was stiff neck. Because we didn't remember the Sabbath. Guess what he said? All right, y'all want to follow me? I'm going to put somebody over you. Your oppressor gonna rule. Your oppressor gonna rule over you. Bring it out. That's what's gonna happen. You see that? Watch this. Yes, sir. Read. Exodus chapter twenty, verse ten. No. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. In it thou shalt not do any work. You see that? There's people around here doing work, and there's people going. To, give me Nehemiah ten. There's people buying and stuff. You don't supposed to do that on the Sabbath day. Right. The Lord not compromising with no man. He created everything on this earth. He's not finna go back and forth with something he created. Bring it on. Right. Our people Bring got to be crazy Bring to think that. If they think the Lord finna, well, you ain't doing no compromising and going back and forth with him. Right. That ain't happening. Right. So when Christ get here and we ain't following the commandments and Christ die, man, look, it's gonna be a problem out here. That's right. If we ain't keeping these laws, watch this. Nehemiah chapter 10, verse 31. And if the people of the land bring wear uh, any victuals on the Sabbath day. So on the Sabbath day, he's saying if somebody would bring right. something to sell, right? Like if somebody's standing out here with bubble gum, cotton candy, tamales, whatever it is, on the Lord's day, watch this. To sell that we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath. You don't supposed to be buying on the Sabbath day. When the scripture said, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy, that's part of keeping it holy. Not buying on the Sabbath day. Not eating hot food. Give me that one. Eating hot food in, in the Exodus. Gotcha. You see what I'm saying? You can't do it. That's a law. You see how you're looking like that? We forgot. We're going to go into it. The Sabbath. So one, you know Sabbath on Saturday. Two, you know you can't buy. Three, you can't cook hot food on the Sabbath. You can eat sandwiches and cold stuff, leftovers. You see what I'm saying? It's going to go into that. Watch this. Exodus chapter 16, verse 23. Bring it out. And he said unto them, This is that which the Lord hath said. Tomorrow is the rest of the Holy Sabbath unto the Lord. Bake that. So it says tomorrow, so Saturday, so Friday night, right? Friday night to Saturday night is the Sabbath, right? When the sun gets dark, dark on Friday, that's the beginning of the Sabbath. So you stop cooking, right? And whatever you got, you save that and you eat that leftovers on the Sabbath. You don't cook on the Sabbath. Nothing in the microwave, nothing in the oven, nothing. How many people forgot about that? A lot of people, my brother. That's why we out here. Right. God killing behind, God ain't playing behind his Bible, man. Right. He ain't playing behind his word. Think about it, I'm gonna show you something. When you tell your child something and he don't do it, you feel disrespected, right? Right. So when the Lord tell the children of Israel right. to do something, he got to turn the fire up. Right. You see what I'm saying? Because everybody despising the laws. Right. God not playing. He ain't compromising. That's he ain't right. asking nobody nothing. He right. told you to do it. Right. He told you to do it. Our people don't understand uh, order. That's right. Bring it on. Order. Our people don't understand order. Bring it on. When our people start understanding order, then we don't have to worry about the, the laws ordering us. Cause we can order ourselves. We can right. govern ourselves. Right. That's right. Humble ourselves down. You see that? Keeping these laws of God make us a better person. But if you ain't keeping them laws, you gonna smoke weed and call niggas and mess with women. You gonna do all the things that, that according to the Bible say. Right. Read. Exodus chapter 16, verse 23. Yeah. And he said unto them, This is that which the Lord hath said. Tomorrow is the rest of the holy Sabbath unto the Lord. Bake that which ye will bake today. You see that? Whatever you're going to cook, cook it today. Before the sun go down Friday. Watch this. And see that ye will see. And that which remaineth over. What's remaining over, that's what? Leftover. You got it, my brother. Lay up for you to be kept until the morning. You see that? Lay up for you to be kept for the morning. Right now. Whatever we had cooked yesterday before sundown, we can eat it now, but we ain't warming it up. Right. right. If the chicken wing ain't cold, it's just gonna be a cold chicken yeah, wing. Right. 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 You see what I'm saying? It tastes good too. It tastes good. You see what I'm saying? That's right. Yeah. Give me Leviticus 19, 27. So I bring people are despising the laws of God, right? right. Bring it out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's get there. Let's get there. Bring it out. Let me show you something else about the Sabbath, all right? Leviticus.
Leviticus chapter 23, verse 3. Uh -huh. Six days shall work be done, uh -huh. but the seventh day is the Sabbath of rest uh -huh. in holy convocation. A holy convocation. You come together with your brothers. You see that? You see what we doing? Everything we just showed you, we doing it. Right. Every Bible, every scripture we just read to you, we doing it. Right. Right. These brothers got sack lunches from stuff they wives cook yesterday. That's right. Bring it out. You see what I'm saying? And when we go back to the school, we're going to eat them leftovers. Yeah, yeah, we're going to keep it holy. Right, that's right. Now they will see the true men of God. We are not black men. We are the Israelites. Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.